The Haiye Campaign, or Battle of Sepeng, was one of the military conflicts in the late stage of the Chinese civil war between the Kuomintang and the Communist Party of China. The campaign started when the People's Liberation Army launched a major offensive against the Kuomintang headquarters in Shuzhou on 6 November 1948, and ended on 10 January 1949, when the PLA reached the north of the Yangtze. Chapter 1 Background After the fall of Jinan to the Communists on 24 September 1948, the PLA began planning for a larger campaign to engage the remaining nationalist forces in the Shandong province and their main force in Shuzhou. In face of the rapidly deteriorating military situation in the northeast, the nationalist government decided to deploy on both sides of the tianjin pukou railway to prevent the PLA from advancing south toward the Yangtze River. Chapter 2 Section 1 – PLA Strategy Su Yu the acting commander of the Eastern China Field Army proposed an operational plan to the Communist War Council. The plan was to encircle the Nationalist 6th and 7th Army, which were still stationed in the Shandong province. The council quickly approved this plan and ordered the Central Plains Field Army under Lu Cheng, Chen Yi and Deng Xiaoping to assault the Nationalist garrison in Henan and Anhui to break through to Shandong. Chapter 2 Campaign. Chapter 3 Section 1, Encirclement of Shuzhou As the Nationalist 6th and 7th Army began retreating to Shuzhou by crossing the Grand Canal, they were behind their original schedule. Lieutenant General Wang Beitao of the 7th Army had to wait for three days before troops from the 9th Pacification Zone arrived, and consequently several bridgeheads were unsecured prior to the crossing. On 8th of November, 23,000 nationalist troops defected to the communist side, exposing the retreat route of the 7th Army back to Shuzhou. 70,000 men of the PLA marched on and surrounded the main forces of the 7th Army east of Shuzhou, and intercepted the remaining nationalist forces as they were crossing the river. Du Yuming, the commander of the nationalist garrison in Shuzhou, decided to attack the Central Plains, Field Army and capture the key railway checkpoints to break the siege on the 7th Army. However, Chiang Kai-shek and Lu Ji overruled his plan as being too risky and ordered the Shuzhou garrison to rescue the 7th Army directly. The Communists anticipated this move from good intelligence and correct reasoning, deployed more than half of the Eastern China Field Army to blocking the relief effort. More importantly, Lieutenant General Chu Kinkan, commander of the 2nd Army, had a personal feud with Huang Beitao, and mistrusted the faulty intelligence he had been given in previous battles, and did not commit his elite American-trained V Corps into battle. The 13th Army commanded by Lieutenant General Li Mi did try but was blocked by the Communists. The 7th Army managed to hold out for 16 days without supplies and reinforcement and inflicted 49,000 casualties on the PLA forces before being destroyed. Huang Beitao committed suicide in his headquarters on November 22, 1948. Chapter 3 Section 2 Shuangduiji Campaign With the 7th Army no longer in existence, the east flank of Shuzhou were completely exposed to communist attack. The communist sympathizer in the nationalist government managed to persuade Qiang to move the nationalist headquarters to the south. In the meanwhile, the communist Central Plains Field Army intercepted the nationalist 12th Army led by Huang Wei coming from Henan as an reinforcement. General Lu Ruming's 8th Army and Lieutenant General Li Yanian's 6th Army tried to break the communist siege but to no avail. The 12th Army also ceased to exist after nearly a month of bloody conflicts, with many newly taken nationalist prisoners of war joining the communist forces instead. Only Huang's deputy commander, Lieutenant General Hu Lin, riding in an armored tank, managed to penetrate the communist encirclement with 8,000 survivors, but was badly wounded in the breakout. Chiang Kai-shek tried to save the 12th Army and ordered the three armies, still under the suppression general headquarters of Shuzhou garrison to turn southeast and relieve the 12th Army before it was too late on November 30, 1948. However, the PLA forces caught up with them and they were encircled only nine miles from Shuzhou. 
Chapter 3 Section 3, 4 of Shuzhou On December 15, the day which the 12th Army was wiped out, the 16th Army under General Sun Yuan Liang broke out from the communist encirclement on its own. Although Sun himself made it safely back to Nanjing, most of his officers and soldiers were killed or captured in the process. Du Yuming decided to hold out as Chiang had ordered. As one of the ablest strategists in the Rock Army, Du Yuming came up with three different options for the current hopeless situation, first, recall the Rock troops in Xi'an and Wuhan to battle the communists, second, to wait for reinforcements, and the third was to break out on their own. He was disappointed when Chiang chose the riskiest one, order them to break out. There was more than a month of heavy snowfalls, which made the ROC air forces unable to provide air support to the besieged ground units. As food and ammunition diminished, many ROC soldiers killed their horses to feed themselves and communist forces used food to entice the ROC forces to surrender, about 10,000 did so. On January 6, 1949, Communist forces launched a general offensive on the 13th Army and remnants of the 13th Army withdrew to 2nd Army's defense area. Four days later, communist forces captured General Du Yuming, General Chu Qingquan shot himself while trying to break out with his troops, only General Li Mi was able to escape, back to Nanjing. The 6th and 8th Armies of Rock retreated to the south of Wai River, and the campaign was over. Chapter 3, Aftermath The heavy losses suffered by Wampoa trained troops under the direct command of Chiang significantly weakened the position of Chiang in the nationalist government. With pressure from former political rivals such as Li Zongren and Bai Chongxi, Chiang announced his temporary retirement. As the PLA approached the Yangtze, the momentum was shifting completely toward the communist side. Without effective measures against PLA advance across the Yangtze, the nationalist government in Nanjing began losing their support from the United States, as American military aid gradually came to a stop. Chapter 4 Section 1 Films In the 1980s, the CCP made three epic war movies called The Three Great Campaigns to commemorate their victories and propagate the view that they created a new China based on communism. The 2007 film assembly was also based on the Haiyai campaign. More recently the Shanghai Film Studio made the 2009 film, The Founding of a Republic to commemorate the 60th year of the CCP, there was a scene dedicated to this campaign, also assembly was initially set on this part of campaign, which the protagonist's group was sacrificed to save the whole regiment.